Yeah, I, I guess it's about time I talked about it. All right, everybody. So after nearly two years of you guys asking me how my game in Kenshi looks so good, it's finally time that I sit down and show you how to do it. But in order to show you guys how to make your Kenshi look the way that mine does and get that next gen look, uh, you're going to need a couple things beforehand in order to optimize your PC. Proper PC optimization is incredibly important for being able to handle these kind of graphics. And I don't just mean that in an elitist way, because you're going to find out in just a minute that the graphics card and the setup that I was running in prior to two months ago was actually not that advanced in terms of uh, the hardware that I was running. I was running a 1660 Ti, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and an i7. The only change that has happened since then, again, this was two months ago, is I upgraded from that 1660 Ti to a 3060 Ti. And that is the only thing that has changed. And I think that's a really important thing to note because, uh, for instance, John, who I have frequently showed in other videos, he's constantly appearing in a lot of my series. He's actually one of the uh, two voices that are in my Nugget Mafia videos. John was running a 3060 Ti, and for a long time, his graphics were, um, I would say, half as good looking as mine are. And until we optimized his PC using these following steps, he wasn't able to achieve that kind of uh, stutter-free, smooth, quality-looking gameplay while also still having that high-performance, um, I mean, high-quality look. Now, bear with me while I'm doing all this. Typically, I'm a lot more scripted, and everything's written out for you guys. I'm not really doing that right now. I'm going to kind of just flow off the cuff, um, so bear with me. Now, the two programs that you guys are going to need before we even get started are these two right here, which is CCleaner and Razor Cortex. They're not necessarily absolutely needed for this to work, but they are pretty essential in just general PC optimization. CCleaner lets you do things like clean out your registry, um, optimize your memory banks. You want to make sure that you have optimal memory for running the game. Cleaning your registry is really important, especially with a game like Kenshi where there's a lot of scripting errors, a lot of dead links, a lot of um, infinitely running scripts that can cause a lot of lag and buildup on the back end of your PC. CCleaner will help fix a lot of those problems. Now, when you open up CCleaner, and I'll put a link on how to download this down below, um, it's pretty easy. When you open up CCleaner, the first thing you want to do is scan your PC. And when it starts scanning your PC, just takes a minute. There is a pro version. It is not required to upgrade to. This will tell you any trackers you have, how much space of you know useless junk that you can remove, and any apps and uh, that you can disable at startup. Now, this particular feature you can do on your own just using the task manager. Not really necessary. Updating apps again, not necessary. If you're if you're paying attention, you can do that on your own. Make it better. It'll automatically clear those first two. Get rid of the trackers. Free up some space. Easy peasy. Next thing, you want to go to Custom Clean. This is going to scan through your browser history, your temporary files, your cookies, um, all of those useless little things that you can get rid of that won't cause anything but are bogging down your computer's performance. You can run through, analyze those, run the cleaner, and it'll clear them out. I try to do this once a month. It's not something you have to do constantly, but it does help quite a bit with your performance. Next thing, and the last thing on here is you're going to do your registry cleanup. You're going to scan for issues. And it's going to run through and find any strings or any registry issues that may be occurring. Uh, I find typically the first time you do it, especially if you've never done it before, expect anywhere between 700 to a few thousand registry issues. And once those are taken care of, you hit review selected issues, you save a backup just in case, you should always back up. And then from there, you can fix the issues and that should fix with performance quite a bit. Next thing we're going to look at is the Razer Cortex. Now, this is a fantastic program created by Razer. What it does is it effectively shuts down background programs while you're gaming, and it frees up RAM. On average, I can usually get anywhere between 1 to 2 gigs of RAM freed up while I'm gaming, and this starts every time you open up a game. So it's a fantastic program to have, really good for adding that extra little boost to your game, um, and proper PC optimization, like I said, is, is heavily important for making your game run effectively and smoothly. So once you're in here, it'll show all of the games that you have installed. You may have to manually add a few, um, but you're just going to have Game Booster. And anytime you start a game, it's going to boost. So I'll show you what that looks like when you hit boost or when you open up a game, it will 
release memory and it'll tell you how much it's releasing. So for instance, when I just hit that, it dropped 1.7 gigs of RAM. That is not a ton, but it is enough to see a substantial performance increase and that will run consistently as I'm gaming. And then as soon as I exit from the game program, it will drop back down to normal levels and, you know, start using that RAM again. So something very important. Um, these two programs, again, they're not essential to make this run properly. I, I just really prefer them. And I can't guarantee that you're going to receive the same results that I did uh, or that I still currently do without using them. So next things next is the Suki V2 Reshade. Now they've actually recently come out with the Suki V3, which I'm not currently using. That just dropped a couple of days ago. I'm actually going to take a look at it here in a few days. Um, but the one that I've been using up till now is the V2. Feel free to use the V3. It's a very easy installation process. Um, the uh, mod author was very kind enough to create a very thorough installation process. I'm not going to go through it in its entirety. Just follow these steps in order and everything should work perfectly fine. And as for troubleshooting, the forums um, on here are very, very thorough. Uh, in in terms of, of installing the, the reshade, it is not difficult at all. I'm going to focus more on the settings for the reshade than actually the installation process. But you are going to need the reshade installer. Again, everything is very thorough, very easy to use. Reshade installer, click on the link, download the file, run the reshader. It will install where you need it to. And then from there, you can just, uh, again, follow these instructions to install Suki. It's very easy. Um, now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes, which is going to be the actual game settings for Kenshi after all of these steps are completed. Um, again, it is important that you do these steps prior to running Kenshi because it is going to optimize your performance significantly. And then aside from those other steps, you're also just going to make sure that you have some space on your computer. You need to have free space in order to uh, run the game effectively. You don't want your computer to be bogged down with a bunch of storage issues while also trying to run the game. So just things to keep in mind. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and look at the game settings. All right, so we've loaded up Kenji. We're in game right now. As you can see, I'm getting relatively smooth frame rate. Everything looks really good. Solid um, visual effects, uh, and and the textures are are incredibly high quality. And a lot of what we just did using CC uh, C Cleaner and the Razer Cortex are what are helping us do this. Now, I'll show you the actual in-game settings, and then I'll show you my settings for Suki Reshade. These are not guaranteed settings, and I'll also tell you the adjustments that I made when I upgraded my graphics card to 3060 because I did make a couple of changes um, which have been evident in the last two lore videos that I've put out in the footage where you can clearly see a bit of a ramp up in quality, specifically on the ground textures where uh, they're in, in, in significantly more detail now. Everything looks a bit cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those settings right now, and I'll kind of go through and explain some of them as well. All right, so first things first, this is what my population settings are set to. The reason why I have them set here is uh, mostly for realism, but they do affect performance to a degree, as it clearly states right here. I set the population squ uh, for squad size multiplier to 2. Prior to me upgrading to a 3060 Ti, again, I was running a 1660 Ti, so if that is the minimum of what you're running, I had this set at a 1.5. Um, and that was pretty consistent across the board. Uh, I had the same same level of performance that I do now. Now onto the actual graphics. Now my monitor is a 2560 by 1080. So if you're running a 2K monitor, these settings, you might need to drop them down a bit. I find that the 2560, while it's still HD, it's ultra HD, it gives me that wide screen, uh, nice good look to it, but it doesn't have the same performance impact that a full 2K monitor would. So if you're running higher than a 2560 by 1080, uh, you know, 1440 or anything higher than that, you're, you're going to want to adjust your settings down slightly. Now, my view distance is set to six, uh, 6550. My terrain detail is set to 0.6. My grass range is, uh, my grass view range is set to 2. And all of these have been consistent again. While I had 1660, I'll tell you the ones that I've made different. Uh, grass density, I set to one. Foilage view range, I set to 1.5. NPC view range, I just kind of scrolled up. It's sitting around 6,500 right now. Object view range, 5,000 even. 
terrain feature range at two and distant towns range at five. Now, the only thing that you might have to change in the future is uh, stuff specifically with shadows, which we'll get to in just a minute, and with the texture quality. Now, currently I'm running textures at mega high. Prior to upgrading my PC, I had it set just to high. So that may be something you want to do. The mega high was something I tested out upon upgrading. And as it turns out, I, I actually can handle it pretty well. So if you are running a good setup with a decent amount of RAM and a high quality graphics card, go for it. If not, set it to large, uh, set it to high. You won't see that much of a difference. Um, terrain chunk size, large water reflections. I have set to everything prior to upgrading my card. Again, I had this actually set to just characters. Um, because water reflections are one of those things where it can really bog down your performance and not necessarily for a great payoff. Shadows, um, I just have it set to uh, the RTW SM. If you want me to tell you what the difference is, I probably couldn't. Uh, that's just what it kind of sets up as my default. I don't think I've ever actually messed with, with that. Shadow quality, I set to nice. Um, I don't need super high high perform uh, high quality shadows it's not the greatest thing for me i just don't want a pixelated blocky mess now the one that i have altered significantly was the shadow range this you're going to want to lower it quite a bit if you want if you have a lower quality graphics card so again for my 1660 i had this at about 3000 to 2500 i dipped it quite a bit it wasn't a huge change but it is something to consider um, again Blood on decal range, 5,000 max that right out. Decal resolution, 2048. Harpoon limit, I set to 59. Um, and then from there, I also have the FXAA, heat haze, and the SSAO on. Those have been on consistently as well. So these settings are what I have run in terms of graphics. You're going to want to keep these where they are, and that should take care of the majority of the uh, the way the game should look, make everything look nice and pretty. And if you used in conjunction with the other steps I have showed you, your game should look around like this. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the reshade itself. Now, to access the reshade menu, you're going to hit Shift and F11 by default, and it should pop up with this window here. I haven't played too much with these settings, and you can kind of change them around to look the way you want. But the important thing is the ones that I clipped off were the overlay, I, because obviously it's just that Suki little thing in the corner. You don't really need that. Uh, the UI mask on the bottom, because it causes a lot of issues, such as that, where it causes the black screen. The light doff near, um, just because I don't tend to like some of the haze effects that it can give you when it's on at the same time as doff far. And it lets me toggle it for good footage. So the things close up um, are a lot sharper. They don't have that haze, whereas the things in the background do have that nice good looking depth of field and it creates a nice flow and balance. And if I want to toggle it, all I have to do is hit P, which is what I have a hot key to, and it will flip them on and off. So the DOF near will kick on and the DOF far will kick off. So really important there. And then I take off the UI mask top for the same reason. It causes weird issues with the UI that I don't really care for. Everything else you're going to want to keep on. The MXAO, the Vignette, um, the vignette, vignette, sorry, Magic Bloom, Curves, DELC, Sharpen, Ambient Light, SMAA, Vibrance, um, DOF, Autofocus, and Clarity. All of those things are um, should be turned on, and they will uh, help contribute to this look. And, and to be honest, that is it. That is what I do to make my Kenchi look this good. Um, I've heard nothing but compliments about it. And even looking through Reddit, I have a lot of people that tell me my Kenshi looks to be one of the better uh, Kenshis, if not the best Kenshi they've seen, which I take with huge strides um, and flattery. I'm really happy that you guys like it. So I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. I know that this has been a long time coming. Again, I apologize that the format for this video is a little off. I don't usually do unscripted videos, but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Kenshi content. Thank you.